Folks, I love live scope. That's what I like to do. And there's our first fish out of that school. And he did, he did grab it, <laughs> he did grab it. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. What's up party people? We are back for another fantastic cold episode on Three Pound Fishing. I'm your host, Matt. We're gonna be putting on our gear real quick. For those that have questions about my gear, this is Striker. I think it's pretty outstanding. In fact, I've ordered some layers from them as well, but uh, I really do like it. So we're gonna go out there. I'm gonna show you some active captain and uh, we're gonna see what these fish are doing. Now, yesterday they were schooled up. It was really cool. To be honest with you, it was pretty easy fishing. I'm kind of hoping that's the same deal today. We've got a high of 35. Water temperature is gonna be right there at 50. Um, I expect it to be pretty good. We're kind of in the middle of the day. It's roughly around 11 o'clock. So yeah, we're gonna see what happens. We got the boat, we got some Jinko baits, we got some K9 fishing line. We got the cornfield crappie gear all set up. We're gonna put some fish in the boat for sure. Let's start this episode off with some information you already know about. I am a huge fan of Ozark rods. I uh, have my own Elite Series, I really like them. I use LiveScope primarily, and I use the 8612. Folks, I love LiveScope, that's what I like to do. Uh, the 8612 right there is my favorite. I've had them all. I've had the 126 SV, I've had the 1022, the 20, 1042 I should say, the 1242, and I have settled on the best, which is the 8612. Do I think there's that much better of a picture with the 8612 versus the 126 SV? And that's usually the dilemma a lot of people might have. No, I don't. I think the 126 SV has a very comparable picture. When you're deciding between the 1242 or the 1222 versus those screens, that utilizes the dial. A lot of people like the dial, that's fair. Um, I like the dial, but you do get used to using touchscreen. And it's just like anything, you adapt. And uh, I don't know if I prefer one over the other anymore. What I do prefer is this picture, period. And I think the 8612 or the 126 SV have the best picture. And I have a lot of reasons to say that, other than, and their stats show that. So. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit about me. Ozark Rods, Jinko Fishing, Cornfield Crappie Gear, K9 Fishing Line. Those are some of my big supporters. I've got a lot of new ones too with uh, Pits and Grills, Dr. Eaton Clinic. You know, Grizzly Jig has always been with me. That's been awesome. So a lot of support uh, for three pound fishing. We appreciate you guys coming on board. We're gonna start off by scanning some of the, these, uh, these uh, points with side imaging. All right, folks, welcome back to another episode of Three Pound Fishing. We are out here, nothing strange about this. This is just a regular day fishing. This is a scanning the points. That's where I always start in winter fishing, and you should too. There we go. You just gotta keep it down there long enough. Good fish. All right. Hey, if you haven't followed me on Facebook or Instagram, check those out. Also have that live scope group called Live Scope, Everything You Need to Know. That's a solid fish right there, folks. Beautiful winter fishing right there. That's a beautiful fish. Solid 11 and a halfer. Perfect sight. You're gonna eat them? That's perfect sight. Oh, that should be a good fish, folks. Perfect sight. Oh, that is a good fish. Fourteen. Hammer time. Boat control is number one. All right, I'm gonna do something bad. I'm gonna go right over the top of them, shut my mower door off. And they're gonna swing out right in front of me. This might spook them a little bit. Here they come underneath the boat. But I, at the end of the day, I gotta get good boat control, boat position. And so now I can cast it out right here. Shorten my range a little bit. And they're gonna be a little scattered now because I did that, I think, because they were relatively shallow. Ooh, we got that last one. You saw that one. All right, they're eater fish.
when I look for schools of fish, I'm always looking for obviously ones that are sitting still, grouped really tight. These guys are moving around quite a bit. Uh, here comes a guy that's interested though. And he decided he was. I, I still run Hummingbird Electronics. Um, I have a eight generation three up front. I have a 10 generation three back there. This unit up here, which is where your cam the camera's on right now, is a is purely just for waypoints. Now, some people might choose to use a Garmin unit up here just because you could do it all on one unit. Uh, the problem is you'd have to switch back and forth to see where you were at compared to those units. You can't do a split screen with live scope and the waypoints. So, there's your active captain. Now, look at this school, folks. That's a beautiful thing. This is a slow moving. There it is, slow moving, tightly packed school. And that's what you want. And all I'm gonna try to do is stay away from them a little bit. You know, it's, truck, it's tough to get position on these schools because they are moving. This is a slow moving school, which is what we like. And now they're spooked. See how they cruise right underneath the boat? There they are right there. So we'll just kind of drop right here. Dropped right into him. And there's our first fish out of that school. So this is gonna give us a good idea how old these fish are. They're good. It's a it's, you know it's 11 inch fish. Um, so you can kind of plan on those all pretty much being about the same. So we're gonna pitch right here. Fish right. I mean, it's not to say you can't have a big monster in there too, I and mean, that does happen, but on average, those fish are gonna be about the same size. There wasn't anything there. Now these guys are going down a little bit. Here we go, here's a taker. And there he was, got the second one. So, feels like a better fish. Yeah, better fish here. That's a 12. Solid fish. So, you know, these are gonna be 11s, 12s. They're all underneath us now. They want it kind of slow, which is kind of interesting. So they're kind of, they're running from us. They've, they've gone deep. Anytime the fish gets spooked, they tend to go deep, right? And then they're gonna start coming back up. When they come back up is when you want to be throwing at them. And so they're starting to come back up the front end of that is. Come on, baby, take it. Here's someone chasing it. I just want you to touch it. So you see how the front of that group's all the way up there now? All right, so there we go. We got a nice pile of fish. We're gonna try to stay off of them. We're gonna cast into them first kind of get the thing started and see if we can't pull one off. It should be coming in from behind there. There's actually two piles there, it looks like. And he bit it. Dang it! That would have been awesome to see. He did. Falling down there trying to grab that guy's attention. And he did, he did grab it, <laughs> he did grab it. Uh, you, saw, you should have seen that, I saw it on the screen. He was just, he's, you know, a lot of times there'll be a, late, a guy coming in late and uh, he's a good fish, 12 inch fish. Um, but hey, thanks for joining me today, I appreciate it. Good fish today, great fish, live scope. This makes it a, makes it a joy, I'll tell you. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.